Hey guys, welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizons. In this video, I wanna talk about using an HT, you know, a small handheld radio as a base station radio. Now, why would you wanna do this and what's a good way to do it? So, obviously these little radios are meant to be carried around with you. Maybe you have it in your car, something like that. And they are typically around five watts of power. This is, of course, a VHF FM transceiver. VHF, UHF usually. And this one here is actually 10 watts. This is my Radtel RT470, which I've done a couple of videos about already. But you can typically expect these smaller handheld radios to be five to 10 watts, and they have a little whip antenna. So these are good for maybe talking on a repeater. If you're relatively close to it, you've got good line of sight. And if you're talking to somebody else, not through a repeater, just you know a direct, uh, transmission, you can get a few miles uh, depending on the, the surroundings and that kind of stuff. But what's really awesome about a lot of these modern handheld radios is you can change the firmware and you can really expand the frequencies that you can listen to and in some cases transmit on on these radios to where they become really capable radios but they're always limited by the amount of power and a lot of times the antenna that you have. So what if you took one of these radios and hooked it up to an amplifier and a big antenna, but keep this just as your main radio? It's actually a pretty cool thing to do and I wanna show you how uh, I've done it. I wanna show you the equipment I'm using and, and that kind of stuff if you wanna do this yourself. Now the advantage of this is that you can just have one of these radios as your one main radio, right? You don't have to switch between a radio for you know, a handheld radio and then switch to a different radio in your car and then switch to yet another radio when you're at home as a base station radio. You can have one radio programmed with all the stuff, you know, all the frequencies and repeaters and so forth that you like to use and have that be your only radio. Now let me show you the equipment I'm using to do this, but real quick guys, if you enjoy videos like this, we do radio, aviation, and cars here at Heavy Metal Horizons. If you like that stuff, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so I'm using my, like I said, my Radtel RT470 as an example. I also have a TID Radio H3 right here, which is a really nice, really small, compact radio. Now these are five watts, the Radtel is 10 watts, but it's another way to, it's another, you know, really good radio that has really good coverage, really good capability. Just, I have that here as an example. To start with, you've got your handheld radio. Now I would say one thing that really makes things a lot easier is having a secondary hand mic like this. So this is the official Radtel hand mic. This just plugs into the mic and the speaker port on the side of the radio. And then you can leave this radio. What I like to do is I like to clip it to something. So I leave the radio alone and then I'm just talking and listening through the hand mic and I don't have to keep holding on to the radio when I have it hooked up to another antenna and uh, even a power, uh, an amplifier, which I'll show you in a second here. So that's the first thing I recommend you get, is just a, a hand mic that you plug into the radio. Now, let's take a look back here, because I have a big 30 amp power supply and an amplifier, uh, and that's hooked up to my big antenna that I've got on the roof here. So, this is kind of where the real magic happens, where you transform that little radio into a much more powerful unit. So the equipment I've got here, there's kind of three main things. One is that I've got a big antenna up on the roof, and this is kind of like a really big antenna that you would normally put on your car, a mag mount antenna, only I've got that on the roof, and then a uh, coax cable that runs down here. And this right here allows me to hook up my little HT. So I just plug that in, you screw it on there. Okay, I'm gonna put my, my hand mic back in. And now, what I like to do is I like to kind of clip it like that so I don't have to keep holding it. And now the radio is hooked up. This goes actually into the amplifier right here. The amplifier is a Mirage B108, another uh, you know, thing I found on eBay. Ideally, when this is, has the right input wattage, this is gonna put out 80 watts. 
So it's going to transform your little 10 watt HT into 80 watts out. This is for VHF, of course. And then uh, out of the amplifier, then it goes up and connects to the antenna. Now to power the amplifier, I've got a Pyramid PSV300. This is a 13.8 volt DC 30 amp power supply. Again, uh, all this stuff I got on eBay. Uh, if you buy this stuff new, it can be somewhat expensive. If you buy it used, you can get really good prices on this stuff. I think I paid about $40 for this power supply as an example. So let's go ahead and power this on here and uh, let's see if we can make a contact. So I'm going to turn the radio on. Okay, and let's power this on. I'll turn the amp on. I'm actually on the Oat Mountain repeater here in Los Angeles, but this got knocked out recently by the big windstorms we've had, so I'm going to try something else. Okay, this is uh, Mount Lukens in Glendale. Let's see if we can reach somebody. This is KN6VNE, Kilo November 6, Victor November Echo. If I could get somebody for a quick uh, radio audio check. KN6VNE, radio check. Anybody out there for a quick, quick radio check? Okay, nobody responded on the repeater. Imagine that. But uh, let me just try the general calling frequency because we've got 80 watts out here. We should be able to reach somebody. KN6VNE, Kilo, November 6, Victor, November Echo. Uh, anybody out there for a quick radio check, please? Uh, station calling us, uh, W6LUX, sounding good here. Uh, you're making the trip up here, uh, decent signal, and the auto quality's good. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good audio quality. Thanks. I've got my little uh, handheld plugged into an amplifier here, so I'm just, uh, I'm just, Trying that out. Uh, whereabouts? Uh, whereabouts are you located? Uh, I'm at Roscoe in Winnetka. Uh, it's in the San Gabriel Valley, about seven and a half, eight miles east of downtown Los Angeles. Okay, perfect. I'm just over in uh, the Pacoima Burbank area, so uh, still in the valley there. But uh, anyway, thanks very much, uh, KN6 VNE. All righty. Well, from Burbank, that's a really good. That's a good signal. Excellent. So. You're doing okay. All right, sir. Well, you have a good day, and uh, we're out here listening. K6GBW. Perfect. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Okay, so that was just the general ham calling frequency. That guy was about 10 miles away, and he's given a, a report of good audio, uh, good reception, and all that. So with the antenna I'm using and the amplifier, uh, 80 watts, because we got 10 watts in, 80 watts out here, uh, I'd expect the signal to go much further than that. Uh, and there was a guy that called in at the end there. Uh, they ended up talking amongst themselves, but the guy that called in at the end there was actually down much further south in the LA area, and he could hear me. So, yeah, a very good, you know, very good distance, very good reception with this antenna and transmission with the antenna and the amplifier with a setup like this. Okay, now to be clear, you don't have to use the exact equipment that I'm using. Uh, but this stuff works really well together if you want to try that. If you're using an amplifier like that, having a handheld radio that's a little bit higher power, that'll push the amplifier a little bit harder. Usually, ideally, you want to have about 10 watts going into the front of the amplifier to get the maximum output. But even if you're using a lower power handheld radio, let's say 4 or 5 watts, you're still getting a huge jump when it comes out of the amplifier. And I'm gonna have links down in the video description below for some suggested things you can use. This is not a sponsored video, so I don't care if you use the links or, or what, but there's just gonna be some things down there to kind of point you in the right direction if you wanna try this. Okay guys, so just to wrap up here, again, these days we've got these really capable, low power handheld ham radios. And the, the problem with them, you know, they can do so much, you can listen to all these different frequency ranges and so forth, but the problem is, again, it's always a small, battery-powered, relatively low-power radio with a little wimpy whip antenna. And if you can plug it into a big antenna, plug it into a big amplifier with a, a big, beefy power supply to power that amplifier, you can transform that little, tiny, 
handheld radio into something that's going to reach much, much further, allow you to make a lot more contacts, get your signal way out there, and just have a lot more fun with it. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you very soon.